The thought dawned on me on the way back from a business trip to Orange County. Could millions of workers be unknowingly contributing to their own misery every day? If true, then an entire field of society is being dominated by a monstrously unhealthy mindset without any resistance. After having this realization, my first thought was that there must be something very toxic about professionalism. At its core, the classic professional demeanor is predicated on the idea that you are not good enough in your natural state. And because you're not good enough, you need an artificial exterior personality to interact with other people. What does this mean? It means your natural impulses, your authentic self, is locked up and ignored Monday to Friday. Self-directed criticism becomes the norm as a fake personality is curated to fit the well-accepted virtue of professionalism. Questioning whether or not you're good enough becomes commonplace as the right clothes, hair, and generic inoffensive jokes take center stage. What message is this sending to your mind? What I am isn't good. The act of becoming professional soon turns into an exercise in self-deprecation. It's no surprise that office workers feel a deep, unsettling sense of isolation as their true authentic self is continually kicked under the rug. This leads to feelings of inadequacy, loss of meaning, and general fatigue. A true irony considering that the main goal of professionalism is to project an image of self-confidence. A pair of professionals interacting quickly becomes a comedy when you consider that these two people are each hiding their true self so that the other person thinks they're competent. When in fact, true self-confidence would remove the need for a professional personality altogether. To add insult to injury, management judges its subordinates in part by how polished their artificial personalities are and not by their true confidence. This top-down enforcement of an inauthentic exterior reduces once-confident employees to anxious people-pleasers as the artificial replica becomes the standard, while real confidence is viewed as unprofessional. In effect, causing each worker to mirror another neurotic worker. Once stripped of its branding, sharp clothes, and firm handshakes, Professionalism is nothing more than what schoolyard children do every day, judging others as being cool or not cool. With enough exposure to corporate culture, the real personality is neglected until it's lost altogether. And only after the necessities of life have long been satisfied does the professional begin noticing the painful emptiness in their life that's now grown too large to ignore. A major contributing factor in a midlife crisis and is often accompanied with a lack of passion and a lot of confusion for what to do next in life. By enforcing the tyranny of professionalism, the ideal employee is coincidentally created. Someone who will conform, please others, and continue working ad nauseum for lack of purpose in their own life. But what if all this pain could be avoided? At the end of the day, professionalism contributes nothing more than a thin veil of quality without adding anything of substance to the end product, which is the goal, mind you, that professionalism is supposed to be serving. Instead, by cultivating true internal virtue, there is no need to be professional. Real quality character does not need a mask to hide behind. Yet, Managers around the world impose their own cultural restrictions on employees and often feel threatened and uneasy by people who aren't playing the professional game. To an inauthentic person, an authentic person is a bright light illuminating issues the former would rather not see. If you feel pressured to be someone you're not, there are other options. Consider a new field but don't focus on the type of work you're doing. And instead, search for companies that encourage your own personality type. Or 
take the leap into starting your own business with colleagues who are also done playing the rat race. Whatever you do, don't forget that you're good enough, just the way you are. And to think otherwise is too dangerous. Thank you for watching. This channel is a new experiment I'm trying out. And if you enjoyed it, then please consider supporting these talks through the link below. Also, I know it's a little unconventional, but if you need someone to listen to you vent anonymously, or if you just want to bounce ideas off of me, then book a short phone call with me below. It's free.